Hi everybody and welcome to This Farm is a Mess. My name is Julia and here we are in our new pig pen. Today we're going to show you step by step how we built our three wire electric fence system here for our pigs. This is kind of an example of one of those projects that we had on our list as soon as we bought the home knowing that we kind of want to expand certain things and make it our own. We didn't envision this by any means but we're super excited to have gotten this far and so here we are i hope you enjoy and find it informative please let us know if you see anything that needs improving or if you have any thoughts or comments or suggestions <laughs> Alright, well today starts our electric fence training for our piglets, Tater and Tot. Uh, Tater's already tried it a couple of times and quickly backed away, which was exactly what we wanted. But what we're doing is we ran just a little bit of electric wire inside their pen. So while they're still in here, they can learn that when they hit this wire, they need to back up. Um, pigs have a tendency, if, it, if the wire gets underneath their head, they might move forward and we don't want that because that'll just be a few quick steps to freedom um, but doing it this way where they can't move forward they got to go backwards they should learn how to uh, how to navigate the electric fence and let it keep them safe so you see this really si simple setup all right what's that tot tot got her shot at it um, which again just ran backwards away from the fence perfect um, let's see if she starts to respect it a little bit better. <laughs> Pigs are known to be very intelligent animals and the idea behind this fence training is that they'll get zapped a couple of times and they will quit testing the wire after that and just uh, enjoy the safety of their boundaries. We really want to turn these pigs loose into our yard um, and kind of give them a lot of that grass that you see out there past the trees. Um, let them really enjoy pasture and, and grass the way they were bred to be to be raised the first step of this project was to clear the area where the fence was going to go which was especially difficult along the creek bank there to the left and then to drive the fence post unfortunately i didn't get any footage of this part so where you um where we pick up is with the fence posts driven and some of the fence wire actually already stretched out. We've got two of our strands up and it's really starting to look good. We got one more left to do and then we will finally be able to release our piggies. Well in typical rookie, rookie, <laughs> in typical rookie fashion, here we are making repairs to our fence before we even finish it. it turns out these extended, um, turns out these extended insulators don't really hold up very well to the tension of our wire. They'd probably be more suitable for a uh, nylon rope or tape fence, but we didn't have the money for that. So we're just gonna put on the shorter insulators and they seem to be spaced good enough to where they don't hit the T-post anyway. So, there we go. Um, we're also finding that we needed to add a couple of poles in and adjust some of the insulators just to make sure that our wires stayed off the ground, kept this fence from shorting out so our piggies will stay in and not find out that they can escape in a weak spot. We really want this video to be a step-by-step -step portrayal of what we did for this fence. However, we just weren't able to get footage of everything along the way uh, just because we were trying to get it done and some of these steps required all four of our hands. Uh, but first I want to talk a little bit about the insulators that you see. We used a five different types of insulators here. The favorite was those first ones, the little clip-on T-post style. The screw-on insulators there, they just weren't quite as secure. I won't be using them in the future, and we've already mentioned these extended um, 
extended clip on type they're just not very strong for this wire fencing um, we also have some that drove straight into wood posts or trees in this case and then in the corners we used the black round corner insulators um, as you can see here I was able to tie off the wire on these and, and stretch against them um, now our process of stretching was very uh, primitive as we didn't have any any fence stretcher, stretchers or anything or much experience so basically we tied it off on that corner insulator there and um, I would go down the line and pull as hard as I could at a certain interval Julia would come behind me hold that and I'll go to the next interval and pull um, doing this sometimes for a couple hundred feet per stretch so it wasn't the most efficient and going forward on our next fencing project uh, I've got a couple of ideas on how to improve that but for this fence it seems to have worked we got it uh, fairly tight and we're happy with it so far all right we got our three wires up I'm driving a t-post for our charger and then we're going to try using another t-post as a ground that's not recommended by the manufacturer but with this small fence and uh, this powerful of a charger we're going to try and get away with it we'll test it out before we let them out see what we think um, but I think we'll be able to, we'll be fine with just using a t-post to ground the fence out All right, we got our charger connected. Um, we got the hot wire clipped to the fence, ground wire clipped to the T-post. We'll check that and see if it's effective here in just a moment. And then over here, I've got a lead going from the top wire to the middle wire to the bottom wire. So we're gonna crank it up and test it out. We'll see if it's getting some good current through it. All right, she's hot. So this is our fence tester. Um, it's got five different lights ranging from 625 volts up to 4,650 4, volts. When we were just running that training wire at the pig pen, it was lighting all five lights up. Um, for pigs, it's really only necessary to get two to 3,000 volts and that'll keep them in no problem. So we're looking for that third and fourth light to light up when we test it. I'm gonna stick this into the ground and I'll touch the uh, electric wire with this and we'll see where it lights up. So this is closest to the charger. It should work really great right here. And as we get further away, we'll probably lose some power. So they were getting the 3300 volt light lit up. <coughs> oh, so sorry. Which is great. Up here. Still lighting and top wire, all five, all five are lit up. Here we are at one end of the uh, fence. Still getting all five lights, 4,650 volts at least. And this is actually the other end of the fence right over here. Okay, still very much hot. Finally, it is time. We are about to release the pigs and we are just so excited to see how they are going to react to their new enclosure. Uh, as you can see, 
it took him a little while to get adventurous at first, but uh, hang on just a moment. It took about 10 minutes for their zoomies to finally kick in, and when they did, they were off to the races. Uh, you hear in this clip the dogs wanting to join in on the fun, but they couldn't. Um, and it was just so gratifying to see this. You know, this is uh, this is the way these pigs were meant. This is why they are better than your than your market-fed pig. They get to run around in this grass. They get to root for bugs. Um, and they just get to live such a healthier life. So we are so excited to have finished this project. And uh, we are so happy that our pigs are now this much happier. Welcome to our celebration of completing the pig pen. We've been talking about doing this for a month now, at least over a month, I think. And uh, here we are today, we just completed it. We turned the electric fence on and the pigs are officially free. We're super excited to have that checked off our to-do list. That's been on it way too long and um, we're, all, we're all quite relieved. So, s'more as it is, right? Now, like Julia said, we've been working on this pig fence for a really long time. Sometimes it's really hard to get projects completed around here when there's such a when there's so much to go into it, um, and we we just have such limited time. But it's, it's nice to, after a long hard day like that, just to sit back and relax and enjoy some time together. So thank you all for watching this. Uh, this farm is a mess, and please stay tuned. <laughs>